didn't have superheroes then. Uh, uh, um, but then I, I, I think my father had great ambitions for me. He wanted me to be an estate agent. <laughs> uh, and then work in a building society because I might get a mortgage easier. But um, uh, really the turning point was failing all my exams at school. Uh, which meant I couldn't even try to get into any thing that required those things. The only thing I went to was really drama school. So I got in by the skin of my teeth. And um, that's it, really. Yeah. But I had no, I mean, I always thought of it as a job rather than a, a passion that I had throughout my life. Is that still the case that it's a, it, it's a job not I a passion? I enjoy doing it yeah. more than anything else I could imagine doing that. But I, I don't. I've never felt the great desire to give the world my Hamlet or Macbeth or whatever. Yeah. You know, those great things. Are. And with Janet speaking aside, <laughs> uh, um, but I, I, I do. I, I do. I do enjoy it. I mean, I love doing it. It's just, it's just fun to be on a set and, uh, and or or in the theatre. Um, but I, I don't feel driven in the same way that some some actors do. Sadly, I wish I did, but uh, it's not that I would, you know, want to stop. It's just that uh, um, I, it is my it is my job, really. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah. Do you want this? Um, I think it, it was obvious before I was seven years old that I wasn't very academic, and um, I was sent to audition for a ballet school. So from the age and I, and I got in at seven, seven and a half. So from the age of seven and a half, I was at full time ballet school. So academic side of things wasn't the focus of the school, although we did do it. Um, so I kind of, I, I was in already on that route and I was never going to be a, a dancer. So um, I happened to get my first acting job when I was nine. So it, it kind of just, it was never a conscious decision. It was just something that kind of just happened and it happened very early for me. <laughs> so, um, I went to university. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I went to university to read journalism and I was doing English major as well. And in my first year, I got cast in The Miller's Tale. We did rehearsed readings in the English department. And I, I was in with Jeffrey Rush um, and Billy Brown. And they persuaded me to audition for the State Theatre Company, which was just setting up to play Rapunzel. Because as you can tell, I've got the right colouring. <laughs> and, um, and that sort of kick-started my interest in that. But now I don't. I'm not an actor anymore. Yeah. I run a charity called Project Motorhouse, which does arts heritage projects with uh, young people. So we've just done uh, one where they took portraits of people where, where we live. Um, we, we're right on the coast and there's a harbour. And so we took portraits, the kids took portraits of people who work around the harbour, like the RNLI, because that's very political at the moment. Yeah. And um, the Thames Pilots are based where, we, where I live. And um, what are the Thames pilots? They go out and they pilot the ships that are coming into the Thames okay. estuary. So anytime you can see like nine or ten ships uh, moored off the coast of Margate, but they're based in Ramsgate where I live. And uh, so the kids took portraits of these people and then they did interviews with them and they were linked by a QR code to, uh, to the internet radio station and we put them up all around the harbour. It was a huge success. So that's the sort of stuff that I do now with young people. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>